Hi, hello, how are you? Amanda, Sane Artist. Let's do an eyeshadow look. All right, let's see. I'm gonna do a nice light eye look. This is it right here, except for this guy. That's my eyeliner. <laughs> this is Salem. I like using a powder and then getting the brush wet. It's a really nice eyeliner. It's soft, but with using a multitasker brush with this little end, you're able to get a lot of control with it. So here we go. I'm gonna go in. These are the colors I'm using. I'm gonna be using Rome. Paris, Cafe, and Crush. <laughs> Always forget the name. You'd think I'd have it down by now. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into my brightening highlight. I'm using the blend brush on the small end, and I'm just gonna lightly tap this from lash to brow every day, every day lash to brow with my brightening, and I push it into this inner corner here because I don't put shimmer on that spot, but I still like that brightening that it can do. Tap a little more on. And again, I just tap this onto the brush. I don't wipe it because then I'll put way too much on and it will crease. So I do this just to give myself a nice blank canvas. And then I'm gonna go into our Vanilla Dust Setting Powder, put it on, and I'm gonna tap this over that cream. So I have a nice blank canvas, and by putting the powder on, it just makes everything blend a lot better. Powders blend better on powders. In creams they can clump up and make you blend a lot it puts a lot more work into it so there we go a nice blank canvas okay so the, I'm gonna go in with the smudge brush I have my handy cleaning tile here so I'm just gonna give everything a good wipe on the big end I'm gonna push in to Rome and I'm gonna put this right here under my brow I like putting this on first because I don't want to compromise any of the other colors that I'm gonna put on but I always like having a really light neutral shimmer under my brow bone and that's it you really can't see it but when you're when you're with me you see it when the light hits it and starts sparkling all subtly you'll see it <laughs> you'll see the hair okay so next I want to go in with the short round end and I'm going to go into Paris I might even get this brush wet for Paris Paris is a really light pink now this looks a little crazy I'm going to tap off the excess this looks like a lot of color. Look at that, it's really not. It's this really pretty baby doll pink, but it goes on in a really pretty light way. It looks really overwhelming when you're putting it on a dark brush, but it's so pretty. Look at that. It's just this subtle, beautiful pink. Okay, I'm gonna do the same thing over on this side, tapping off the excess, and I'm gonna come right up here and I'm just tapping this on my brow bone. So I have hooded eyes, so I always keep a lot of my color up here on the brow bone. I'm not going all the way up to the brow, I'm just hanging between the crease and that Rome color. I just, it's such a beautiful, I feel like you can't even see how beautiful this is. So I'm gonna post a picture of this, don't worry. I'll zoom in and at the end of this, there'll be a picture of like, boom, my eyes. Okay, so the next color I wanna go into is Cafe. So I'm gonna switch brushes. I'm gonna to switch to the eyeshadow brush. I want a little more control over Cafe. So I'm gonna use this small end. I'm just gonna, I always clean my brushes on this tile first just in case there's any wild colors. I don't wanna mess up what I'm doing. So I'm gonna push Cafe onto this brush and I am gonna do a um, greater than, less than. So I'm focusing this on the outside of my crease and then I'm bringing this along the lash line, but also into that crease and a little bit on that brow bone right here. I just want it to be a touch. And then I'm gonna bring it under my eye like that. Look at how pretty that is. I'm gonna flip it to the fluffy end and I'm just gonna blend it into that pink color. But do you see how adding that cafe has kind of made that pink pop? It's really nice, but I just wanna focus this cafe way out here like that. All right, so I'm gonna push some on. The same thing over here, I'm doing a greater than, less than. So along the lash line, coming out past that corner and then pushing into the crease and brow bone, just like that. And then I'm gonna bring it down. And then I'm just gonna grab this brush and I'm just giving everything a nice blend. I'm gonna take this brush and I'm just gonna tap off any excess that has fallen I don't like it to sit there too long and end up going into my creams. Okay, just like that. Okay, 
The next color I'm going to go into is Crush. It is Crush, right, Amanda? You're not talking that. Okay, Crush, yes. It's this really pretty pinky peach color. And I'm going to use my finger to push it on, just like that. And I'm going to put it on my lid. And it's just super pretty. Look at that. It's just a little touch that makes a really, really nice difference, just like that. I'm going to go into that fluffy end clean it off because I used that brown and then I'm just going to give everything a final wipe just to kick off any excess shimmer. I'm going to go into that Paris pink and I'm just going to do a little dusting up here just to give it a final blend of pink. And it's just so pretty. Okay, so let's do some eyeliner real quick. I just use an inexpensive Maybelline Tattoo Studio pencil. And I'm just gonna handle my waterline. I start on the outer corner and I just pull up so it gets away from the part that's gonna make me blink like I just did. I come about three quarters of the way over, not all the way over, and that's it. And then I'm gonna do the same thing over here, starting in that corner and pulling up and over. This waterline takes a little bit of adjusting. It took me a long time just to be able to do this. Okay. I'm just flicking onto that corner. I want to push into that lash line just to give a little bit of definition. Okay, I'm going to go into the multitasker brush on the small end. I'm going to grab some setting spray and I'm going to wet this little tip. That's it. Just a little bit of wetness on it. Just like that. Okay. Get a rag on my finger. Okay. I'm going to go into Salem. On the website, it looks gray. That puppy's black, okay? I'm gonna get a smaller mirror because I find it helpful. And I'm gonna dip in to Salem. Now, when I'm saying I'm dipping in, I'm just dipping into the tip. I'm not dipping into the whole brush. I'm gonna tap off any excess because I don't want any fallout of black on my face. And I'm just going to go along my lash line here. And this pointy end gives you so much great control and I'm just gonna add liner. And I'm not gonna go all the way over, I'm kinda sticking to the same three quarters that I waterlined. And then I'm just gonna pull this up and over for just the tiniest little, look at that, isn't that nice for an eyeshadow? Getting it wet is key. And so I'm gonna come over here and do the same thing. It just, it lasts on the brush for a long time. You could almost do both eyes. And I'm just following along that lash line and then I'll pull up tapping as I need to flicking off excess because again you don't want black falling out onto your eye and just watching and making sure everything is matching they're never going to be exact but you can get it pretty dang close if you look back and forth and that's why I like keeping a small mirror right up in my business I'm going to take what's left and I'm just going to kiss this little edge right here. Right there. And then when I put my mascara on, it's going to give the illusion that it goes all the way over what's left. I'm also going to pop it right here. And I'm going to tap it with my finger. And it adds just a touch without being a super harsh line. It's just on my lash line and then tapping it with my finger. It just adds just a little bit, but still blends it pretty well. I'm just going to wipe this so I can put it in the drawer and it won't get on my brushes. All right. Mascara, Bare Minerals Lash Topia. I really love this stuff. So I look down and I wiggle at the root and I pull up. Wiggle and pull. Wiggle and pull. There we go. I like to focus it on the root and then pull it up. I don't use a lash curler, those things scare me. And then I just keep her going until I'm happy with where I am. But I just thought this would be a really pretty everyday look. I like it. So I've used Roam under my brows just for a little champagne shimmer. And you could even just do that and not use Peppa, but then I used Paris which is that light baby doll pink on my transition color and then a nice neutral brown cafe on the outer corners. 
and then pepper on the lid but again you could use rum if you wanted to and that's it did i do my lower lash line probably not let's empty it out on these puppies real quick and then get that lower lash line. all right i don't put a lot on just a bit okay that's it that's the eyeshadow look isn't that pretty? It's nice and neutral. You can deepen it. I kind of want to. All right, I'm going to go into cafe and I'm just going to deepen right here. Look at that. Well, that's good. Okay. Cafe, pop it. Like that. Deepened. Perfect. Okay. Have a great day.